Whew, okay, everyone says that this movie was a thought-provoking and powerful film. Let's see if they're right. What is up my Cinedroids? G to the S here. Today, I'm gonna be reviewing an all new live action drama based on a true story, Ford vs. Ferrari. Starring American automotive designer, Carol Shelby, and fearless British race car driver, Ken Miles. Both played by talented Hollywood giants, Matt Damon and Batman himself. Christian Bale, who battle corporate interference, the laws of physics, and their own personal demons to build a revolutionary vehicle for the Ford Motor Company. Together, they plan to compete against the race cars of Enzo Ferrari at the 24 Hours of Le Mans in France in 1966. So this is like some sort of a competition story. I mean, I have seen this type of story before, but for what it was presented on screen, in terms of how the movie was executed, it's an interesting take on it. Props to Fox for deviating that familiar concept and stretching out that concept to make it somewhat original. Let's see if they can keep this up. Also, in terms of direction from James Mangold, I really enjoyed the chemistry between both Matt Damon and Christian Bale in this film. I mean, towards the beginning of the movie, they can be bitter rivals. But for almost two thirds of the second act, character development wise, they start to bond a friendship later on. And that is mainly the heart of this movie. It's more of a buddy competition sports drama. But you know what? That's never a bad thing at all. I love movies like this. Keep up that streak, guys. Speaking of which, the emotion in this film, honestly, was really genuine, I gotta say. I mean, I won't go into too much detail about it, but there's this one scene where both Ken and Carol start butting heads with each other, and that gets emotionally brutal real fast. But like I said, you're just gonna have to watch the movie to find out what I'm talking about. No spoilers. But yeah, I thought the drama was handled perfectly. But what really got my heart pounding, and it's something that most racing movies need to accomplish, and that is the camera work and cinematography when it comes to showing the race cars in action. I mean, just the fact that when the camera is hooked onto a fast moving vehicle, it actually feels like you're caught in the middle of an actual race. As a guy who has seen this type of style in movies that I've seen, like the Cars movies for example, of course, this is a no brainer. Immense kudos to Fox for making the racing feel so intense. I guess the only thing that I noticed in this entire film was that the approximate time length of the film was a bit longer this time around. What was it, like over two and a half hours long? If it was, I'm surprised that the writers and developers of this film worked this hard to get the whole thing done. I mean, you could have shortened up the story just a little bit, but still, it's not like the pacing was a huge problem or anything. I still enjoyed it. Overall, guys, in the end, I thought Ford vs. Ferrari was a great biopic film. The characters were fun to watch. The story felt very accurate to the actual event that happened years ago. The pacing was well-structured, and the camera work was so exhilarating. Loved the whole thing from start to finish. As a result, you know that I'm gonna rate Ford versus Ferrari five out of five stars, right? I mean, I'm sure a lot of other people enjoyed it as much as I did. And I know on the other side, there's bound to be those cliche Statler and Wardorf wannabes out there who will hate the film just for the sheer fact that they have the tendency to hate a certain film like this one. I mean, it's gonna happen, right? It's just too inevitable. But either way, highly recommend it. So Ford vs. Ferrari, have you seen it? If you haven't, please do so. You won't be disappointed. It's such a good movie. But for those of you who have, come back and let me know in the comments what you thought about it. Also, if you like this video and you wanna see some more, make sure that like button shines in your face. That'll totally help me out a ton. Also, share that video with your family and friends and favorite it. That's a very good way to show support for this review. Also, if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe and ring that bell right next to you so you can be notified of future videos that I have in store for you. Also, if you want a shout out in a future video, just follow me on both Instagram and Twitter and I will choose one of my Cinedroids to be displayed as a shout out. The link's in the description below. And also follow me on Stardust so you can catch early reactions of movies, TV show episodes, and trailers. I'll put a link to that below in the description as well so you can download the app for yourself. But until then, I'll see you next time. Peace out.